Okay, this is the Dyno Circular Tension Tool. Um, I use the Silver Circular Tension Tool quite a lot, but I have to say I do like this one. Um, differences in the two, um, Dyno, so it's a quality, quality tool. Feeling the weight of it, it's like solid brass, it really feels heavy compared with the other Circular Tension Tools. Uh, the other good thing is, of course, you've got the gauges at the top, so as you turn the pick to apply pressure you can see exactly how much pressure is being applied so if you come to pick another lock of that same brand or you've got an amount of pressure that works best for you you can set it immediately and know you've got that perfect pressure just how you like it every single time so we're going to put that dyno into this lock and we're going to single pin pin this lock Again, you can see the black triangle marks your starting point, which is in line with the top of the keyway or bottom, as it is in the case of a Euro. I'm putting a light pressure on. I'm only just turning it halfway, which would be your equivalent of 0.5, which is in between the white and the black. It's just halfway between them, so I've not even made it to the first actual pressure part, you know, the, on the gauge in here. It's right bang in the middle. So I'm applying that light amount of pressure and we're going to try and single pin pin the lock. And there you go, we're done. The good thing with any circular tension tool, it just frees up the entire keyway. When you look at a normal tension tool, it'd come to about here and just leave a small part so your pick's banging against it, it's a nightmare. But with one of these circular tools you've got a lot better control of the tension. They don't slip like your normal circular tension tool. I mean these are brilliant as well for like your pit guns. Let's throw the dyno in here. Small amount of pressure. And the lock's open. Again, it doesn't take, doesn't take much to open a lock. You can control that tension like the first time I turned the lock there I thought I've probably not got quite enough tension on so I just turned it very slightly for the second time with the pit gun and as you saw it opened it nice and easy. That's the Dino Deluxe.